What month will our deeds be presented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Why is wasting time worse than death? What are the five things Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him warned us about? Why doesn't Allah punish the bad people in the world? Do you know about people who sell their religion and disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala day and night? We will know the answers to those questions in this video insha'Allah. All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Life is a place of test and not a place of judgment. And the afterlife is the place of justice, reward, punishment and eternity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, وَلَوْ يُؤَاخِذُ اللَّهُ النَّاسَ بِظُلْمِهِمْ مَا تَرَكَ عَلَيْهَا مِنْ دَابَّةِ وَلَكِنْ يُؤَخِّرُهُمْ إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ مُسَمَّةِ فَإِذَا جَاءَ أَجَلُهُمْ لَا يَسْتَأْخِرُونَ سَاعَةً وَلَا يَسْتَقْدِمُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives all people time to repent and correct themselves in dunya. If they didn't, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has severe punishment in the afterlife. What, what is, is the, the best, best life? life? Dunya is temporary and the form of the afterlife. Whatever you plant here, you will collect in the afterlife. Dunya is not eternal, but afterlife is. So real life is the eternal life in Jannah, where no sadness, sickness, or calamities. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, مَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا مِّنْ ذَكَرٍ أَوْ أُنْثَى وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٍ فَلَنُحْيِيَنَّهُ حَيَاةً طَيِّبًا وَلَنَجْزِيَنَّهُمْ أَجْرَهُمْ بِأَحْسَنِ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ Days and nights pass quickly. Exactly. In the world, the passing of days, months, and years means the death of ages and the approach of the end. People ride the days and don't feel them. Life is a journey and no one knows when they will die. What we had in dunya was a dream and what is left are just hopes. People with 50 years have lived a dream in their sleep. And what is left of their lives is just I will do and I will do. And the end is closer than the hope. Thus, sell yourself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and don't sell it to shaitan. I, I sell, sell myself, myself to, to shaitan. shaitan. What, what do you mean? mean? Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Every person goes out in the morning and sells his soul. He either saves it from doom or throw it into destruction. What, what does, does this, this hadith, hadith mean? mean? In the morning, all people go about in the land in search of their provision. However, some do this for the good of themselves while others for their destruction. They sell themselves in the sense that they get themselves engaged in actions. So you would either sell yourself to Allah Almighty and save it from his fire or sell it to the devil by committing sins, crimes and evil doing, whereby you lead it to its destruction in hellfire. Al-Hasan al-Basri, may Allah be pleased with him, said, O son of Adam, you are nothing but a number of days. Whenever each day passes, then a part of you has gone. And, and why, why did Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala create death and life? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created death and life to test you as to which of you is best indeed. Only death can put an end to repentance and good deeds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَاعْبُدُ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ Therefore, we must worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until we die. Thus, we must use our time wisely to achieve good deeds without feeling tired. A man came to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and said, O oh Messenger of Allah, please give me some advice. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Take benefit from five before the occurrence of five, your youth before old age, and your health before sickness, and your wealth before poverty, and your free time before preoccupation, and your life before death. Youth, health, wealth, free time, and life are all periods for doing righteousness and preparing for the future. Death puts an end to actions, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not give anyone another chance to do good. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, حَتَّى إِذَا جَاءَ أَحَدَهُمُ الْمَوْتُ قَالَ رَبِّ ارْجِعُونَ لَعَلِّي أَعْمَلُ صَالِحًا فِي مَا تَرَكْتِ كَلَّا إِنَّهَا كَلِمَةٌ هُوَ قَائِلُهَا وَمِنْ وَرَائِهِمْ بَرْزَخٌ إِلَى يَوْمِ يُبْعَثُونَ after enjoying health, the youth assume they will be safe from any kind of sickness. After having money, they don't think they will get poor. 
and with their time, they work and play a lot without thinking about death. What, what is, is the, the best, best thing, thing we, we can, can do? Abdullah ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, said. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, took me by the shoulder and said, Be in this world as though you were a stranger or a wayfarer. And Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, used to say, In the evening, don't expect to live until the morning. And in the morning, don't expect to live until the evening. Take advantage of your health before times of sickness. And take advantage of your life before your death. Beware of the word well. I will, I will pray, pray I, will I will fast, fast I will be good, and, and I, will I will quit, quit cigarettes, cigarettes and so on. We're in the waiting time before death, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to use our time wisely and hasten to do good deeds. Ibn al-Qayyim, may Allah have mercy on him, said, Wasting time is worse than death, because wasting time cuts you off from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the hereafter, and death only cuts you off from this world. A lot of people care more about their money than they do about their time. They think a lot before spending money, but easily waste their time with no benefits. We must hurry to do good before we lose the opportunity and no longer have the opportunity to do good. Therefore, when the Prophet's companions meet each other, they wouldn't separate until they read Surah Al-Asr together. Wal-Asr, inna al-insana la fi khusr, إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, hasten to good deeds before being overtaken by tribulations that are like parts of the dark night. A man would be a believer in the morning and turn to a disbeliever in the evening. Or he would be a believer in the evening and turn to a disbeliever in the morning. He sells his religion for worldly gain. This hadith shows you to do good before you're prevented from doing it. There will be tribulations as dark as night, and you won't be able to see the truth through them. As a result, one turns into a disbeliever with the passing of time, selling his religion for worldly gain, whether it's wealth, status, authority, women, or whatever. Ibn al-Qayyim, may Allah have mercy on him, said, and know that time is too honorable to waste a moment of it. Imagine if we told people they could get a palm tree full of dates if they said two words. They will receive a palm tree every time they say these two words. Can, Can you, you guess, guess how many times, times they, they will, will say it? it? They won't stop saying it. Do you know every time you say Subhanallah wa bihamdi, you will get a palm tree in Jannah? And Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah said, Life is too precious. We shouldn't waste a single breath. Now we are in Sha'ban, a month of fasting and worship. There is no worship like fasting. And this is the most month Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him would fast. When they asked him why, why? the Prophet peace be upon him said, that is a month to which people don't pay much attention between Rajab and Ramadan. It is a month in which the deeds are taken up to the Lord of the worlds. And I like that my deeds be taken up when I'm fasting. We can also do a lot of good deeds. Helping others and giving charity are examples of this. May Allah grant us barakah in our life and in our time. O oh Allah, forgive me, my parents and the believers, when the day of judgment will be established. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.